बूम यस ऑसम ओ माई गुडनेस लॉबल डॉट डेव जस्ट वेस्टेड सो मच टाइम ऑन आर बेसिक थिंग एंड इन विंड सर्फ यू जस्ट गेव वन प्रॉम्प्ट वी गेव इट जस्ट ए पी आई की it did all of that stuff for us in this video we are going to do a very unique experiment we are going to build this notes taking app that can actually create notes with our voice you can write a title and after that you can simply just click on enhance button and then using google gemini api key we are going to enhance the note that we have just like created after that you can simply just click on save on save notes and then it will just be able to save your notes with the with the current date and time we are going to build this app in Liveable dot dev, but in this video you learn that we were having some issues inside Liveable dot dev. We could not add certain functionality, even simple functionality, inside our application. During the development of this project, we are going to face some difficulties. You will see that Liveable dot dev is unable to create some very basic functionalities. So that's why we'll what we'll do. We'll just push this code on GitHub and then then download that code locally on our computer. Open that code in Windsurf and then build rest of the functionalities inside windsurf you can use cursor if you are using cursor you can use vs code if you are using that but you will learn basically that if you are developing something in lovable.dev or maybe like bold.new for i use that and then push your code on github bring your code locally on your computer and then edit that rest of the functionalities and create like rest of the functionalities inside native ai code editor something like windsurf or something like cursor ai you will also learn how to integrate superbase to create backend for your application in this tutorial you will learn how to use these web based ai code editors with the native ai code editor something like cursor and windsurf and then create something useful using web based ai code editor something like lovable something like bold.new and then use cursor and windsurf to create more serious project before we start this tutorial please do not forget to subscribe this youtube channel our goal is to reach 1 Hundred thousand subscribers before thirtieth of June, twenty twenty-five. First thing first, we need to write requirements for our application and shortlist all of the features that we need in our application. I just used DeepSeek for that. You can use ChatGPT or Gemini or whatever you want to use. Inside DeepSeek, I asked I want to develop a note-taking app with voice input option and AI integration using DeepSeek version three API key. Please write features of my app. And then it just write wrote all of these detailed features for my application. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna just like copy all of these features from here. We are going to then sign up on Lovable dot dev. You can use your email. I have used like my personal email. You can use any of the emails and then sign up for Lovable dot dev. It's free to use, completely free to use. And after that, what we're gonna do? We're gonna just like copy all of these features that we created here inside um, uh, inside DeepSeek. We are going to copy all of these features and then paste. I won't give any information about design or what sort of like front end and what, what sort of like what else I want. I just like give detail of all. all of these features that i want inside my inside my application and then let's see in first iteration what it returns us back so what we're going to do i'm just simply going to click on enter and then let's see how it develops this application and then how what it develops in this first iteration i know it is not going to develop all of these functionalities all of these features that we need but let's see what it develops and let's see the bare minimum or you can say minimum viable product version of our of our application what it develops and then we'll then after that because it natively allows us to integrate superbase which is for backend or you can say to store our data to create a database to create like have a backend uh, server uh, where we can actually store our data and, uh, and maybe authentication system as well so it has native integration of superbase you will have to create an account on superbase and after that you can then create a project an empty project in superbase uh, first project will be free okay so it has created something all right that's nice so it has in integrated this voice functionality apparently um so we we going to test it in a minute so about superbase uh, so you can just like go to superbase.com and then sign up for that and then just uh log in with your uh, simple email address you can create one project for free and after that any project any other project that you will create it will ask you to pay for that project so one project if you are going to create that that is going to be for free but uh, lovable.dev has native integration with superbase that means you can develop applications natively i mean you can connect superbase functionality and create all of the backend kind of side of uh, your application natively uh, inside lovable.dev all right so let's just try so let's see if it works uh, i'll simply just click on this option okay so it is already writing awesome please write a detailed note oh my goodness 
What's that? It is just writing too much. Hello. Okay, so this is what it is doing right now. So option, okay, so it is already awesome. Please write a detailed note starting too much. Okay, all right, we don't need that. Let's just mention it. Our voice to text option is working, but it is not writing text as I speak. For some reason, it is whenever I say something, it creates a redundant text. It should write text based on whatever I say. All right, so. I don't know. I don't know exactly what is the problem here. Why it is like just like repeating that text again and again and then like creating it very fast. So let's just see how it works. After that, we'll actually try to save, uh, create a notes, and then we'll try to save a notes, and then we'll see how it save that notes. And then after that, we'll then integrate uh, deep seek version text only functionality. All right, please create a note. This is working fine. All right, that's okay. Can I write a note title as well with this note title? Uh, so it is actually writing note title as well inside my description. All right, so speech to text functionality is working perfectly fine now. The only problem that I see is I cannot enter speech to text functionality in note title text input box please allow me to write text using speech to text functionality inside note title text box this is a note title i can see you have created an extra option for note title but whenever i try to use my speech to text functionality for note title it adds text inside the description box not inside the note title box. All right, so let's fix the issue with the speech to text functionality for the note title. The problem is that we need to properly handle the active field state when toggling the recording. All right, okay, that's fine. Okay, so it has made some changes now. Let's just try to test it. Note title. Ah, my goodness, it's still entering text inside the disc the, this description. Okay, let's just try to save it. So this is how it is saving that. Okay, that's all right. So. It is actually saving that everything is working in terms of like saving these notes, but we cannot enter our uh, text using our, our voice input, but that's fine. Okay, let's just uh, in integrate our deep seek version three API key. And after that, uh, whenever we write something, then we're gonna like use chat GPT, sorry, use, use deep seek version three to enhance that writing, whatever we will uh, enter. And then it will actually create an upgraded uh, version of our, our text. So now I want to integrate DeepSeek Gen 3 API key. So whenever user creates a new nodes and enter the nodes description, there should be an option to use DeepSeek version 3 API key will have bat nodes in bullet points. All right, let's just create a DeepSeek API key. Um, and then what we're going to do, we are going to then add that deepseek.com, go to platform, just simply sign up for, for that. You, you can use any other API key. You can use uh, Google Gemini 2.0 or any other API key, whatever you want to use. So I'm just going to use like DeepSeek because it's, it's way better than anything else. All right. I'm just going to name it note taking app. And then I'll just copy this from here, paste it inside my lovable. Here is the DeepSeek API key. All right. So let's see. Uh, I think before it will actually uh, integrate this AI functionality, it will ask us to connect Superbase. So we need to then uh, connect Superbase with it. So add API key. I'll just add API key here. So it has just asked me. I'll just make sure again that I am I have copied it. I'll paste it here. Submit failed project. It cannot connect it to so is not connected to Superbase. Okay, so I need to connect to Superbase. All right, fine. All right, I'll just okay. So because it, it did not allow us to add API key because project is not connected to Superbase. So what I need to do, I need to simply just go to uh, Superbase and click on this button. And then after that, I need to just choose my organization, whatever organization name you will choose, it will be here. Uh, for the first time when you'll be using that, it will actually ask you to connect your Superbase account. You need to do that. And after that, it will just load your organization name here. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I have one project, empty project that I have created here. And I'll just do that. I'll connect that project here with this here. And then it will now automatically connect Superbase in here. And then whatever functionalities we're gonna do that, uh, add here, whatever uh, SQL queries it, it is gonna run, whatever tables it is gonna create, it will do that from its side 
you won't have to do that manually inside Superbase. So it's very easy to use Superbase. Um, you can like run all of those SQL queries and like create all of those tables. You can like manage your data in a better way uh, if you are doing it manually, but still it is actually going to do that on your behalf. So uh, just let it do that. So yeah, all right. So now your app is connected to Superbase, user account. Okay, fine. What I'm gonna do, I'm just, what's next? Just keep uh, building, any questions? Okay. All right, Superbase is connected. But I'll ask it now, I'll ask it to now please integrate DeepSeek version 3 API key into our project and AI functionality in our note taking app. Whenever user creates a note and adds text in it, there should be an option to enhance that with AI. Once user click on that, DeepSeek AI should be able to create a better version of that notes maybe create bullet points and present it better api key let's just add that api key again let me just copy that from here paste that inside log and then okay so add api key here i'll just add api key here submit and now it is uh, added api key has been successfully added and now it should be able to integrate and add that functionality right here. All right, so apparently it has created that. Let's just try to create a note. This is a sample note. I'm just creating this note to test it. Our aim is to build a robust voice notes app that can help us to take notes better. All right, let me just click on this button, I think. So now fail to enhance the notes, please try again. I think it has got this error automatically. So your app occurred an error, so try to fix it. Yeah, I think it has got that error automatically. Please think step by step in order to resolve it. Show error, what was the error was, error number one. Okay, fine, deep seek variant three API key. Yeah, so it, it, it did not complete that deep seek integration properly. So I think that's why we had that error. All right, let's just try it again. This is a test notes that we are creating just to test functionality of our aim is to build a robust voice notes taking app same error okay this is error that it shows let me just copy that error from here we just go back we are having this error please think step by step to fix it there is an error in integrating deep seek version 3 into our project i have provided the documentation of deep seek version 3 as well please have a look all right let's just give it a deep seek version 3 our documentation so let me just copy this for a minute and after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna provide the documentation here i'll just provide this documentation by copying it directly so it won't have to scrape all right so it has made now some changings try using enhanced features okay all right this is a test note we are creating this note just to test the enhance functionality our aim is to build the best notes taking app same error now oh my now we are just going back and forth all right i have just enhanced the front end design and now it is looking much better i just gave it a simple prompt and then it created this uh, very enhanced front end design uh, i was unable to uh, fix the deep seek integration issue i gave it like even documentation as well but this is one limitation that we have in lovable because unlike cursor we don't have access directly uh, to like uh, make changings and like have access code directly in a way that could like change particular uh, things inside code I'd like uh, review that so if you are a beginner uh, if you don't know anything about code so maybe like uh, if you are stuck at something it will just keep you in loop again and again because if you see like there's a very long conversation that I did in fact I tried to integrate uh, Google Gemini as well and then I provided Google Gemini uh, API key as well but it was still unable to uh, like create anything with that so yeah that, that, that's one problem that we're actually facing so but right now this is the kind of uh, uh, interface that we have here it is able to now like take an input in form of text can i say something yeah exactly so i just whatever i'm saying it is actually writing this as a as a note now notes are being saved here and now this is how it is being presented uh next thing that that we can do is actually we can just de deploy this code uh, i have already deployed that to test but uh, now this uh, this is the current version of the deployed here it is here is the current deployed version though i'll just click on redeploy and simply by just just clicking on redeploy it will just redeploy that project once again and then uh, we'll have an updated uh, uh, front end for that simply let me just click on redeploy button and it will just redeploy the updated code and after that we'll just um, push this code onto github uh, and then 
so we, we can like access it in in cursor and then we can try to like make changings inside cursor all right so this is how it is looking like after being deployed so the, it will actually create it on uh, deployed on a subdomain we can of course uh, like uh, add our custom domain as well so if you have your if you have your customer dom uh, custom domain on host engine any, anywhere you can do that but for now let's just like uh, leave it on on subdomain next thing that we can do is actually we can simply just click on this um, edit code button transfer this repository onto github i have already connected my uh, uh, github inside lovable.dev if you don't have your you can simply just um, create your github account using any email address and just sign up for that it's free to use there is no uh, cost to use github so you simply just create free like just create an uh, github account and then uh, after that it will just automatically uh, like push your code into git now it has created a repository and it has now pushed this code inside github it has created this readme file as well so next thing if you just like just give it a try and clone this repository locally and then try to open that in cursor so if you just want to do that you can do that or you can simply so to open this uh, inside cursor you can simply just download or any other like windsor for cursor any other local id simply just click on download uh, zip file and then open that and then simply just right click extract and then just open your this folder inside cursor or windsor wherever you want to open so i have windsor opened here what i'll do i'll simply just go here go to file and then go to open folder and now simply by doing that i have opened that source code directly inside windsor and now i can make any changing i can do whatever i want inside windsor so the remember the error that we are actually facing that error is related to like integration of deep seek so let's just add, try to add that using windsurf and see if if that works in windsurf or not so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna get that uh, let's just like to the google gemini so we can actually do that as well so let me just uh, copy my api key from gemini get a new api key please integrate google gemini into my project here is the api key there is an enhance button when I click on that using Google Gemini AI functionality, I should be able to enhance my notes or right, let's just provide it a basic Google Gemini um, documentation. So to do that, you can simply just go there. Here's a quick start guide. Google Gemini documentation. This one is for Python. We need node.js. All right, it's going to just search the code base. So yeah, this is how, I mean, smoothly you can move your code from Lovable if you're developing something in Lovable and it is just like going to keep you in loop. Uh, so then we can just download that source code, open that locally on your computer, make changes here in your computer in, in uh, Windsurf or in Cursor if you are using Cursor and then try to like fix those errors locally in your computer. So it has just now created a... Um, simple file dot env file so now we should be able to run this locally it is now going to install google gem uh, google generative ai um, dependencies you see there's a specific okay fine all right so it, it found an error in the previous command so it just updated a command that's good thing about so that's how different both of these things are that's how different um coding inside like developing something using bold.new or lovable.f and then developing something in a local id so it has now added all of these things uh, like made made all of these changing i'll just accept all of these changings here after that what i'll do i'll just gonna run that in here so you just run npm run dev and then let's try to open this on this thing and then let me just add that click on enhance boom yes <laughs> awesome oh my goodness lovable.dev just wasted so much time on a basic thing and in windsurf we just gave one prompt we gave it just api key it did all of that stuff for us let's just create a notes this is the sample notes we are building revolutionary voice notes taking app please present this random notes in a bulleted form all right let me just click on this it should be now able to present this in a bulleted form awesome amazing look at that so yeah this is the difference between using something like lovable.dev and then using a proper proper code editor i mean where i have access to to, to this code editor where i have access where it can actually uh, access all of these files and then create something out of it but like with simple just like one prompt it just like created the functionality what we needed and on lovable.dev you are just like wasting so much time so yeah that's the difference so i really hope you learned something in here so i think uh this should be the way you should build something uh 
if you're using tools like Lovable, like Bolt, you can stay in that loop. You will never be able to like uh, develop anything meaningful uh, in less time. You can just like, you know, for a simple, and in a simple error, you'll just like uh, keep going on and on in a circle and you'll never be able to like fix that error, even though like that would be like a simple thing to do. So yeah, this was it about today's video. I'll see you next video. Uh, bye bye.